Hello, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. Today, we have the absolute gorgeous Dodge Ram 5.7 V8. And there's a guy in there who says, Hemi! This is your 5.7 litre Hemi engine. 350 brake horsepower, I think standard. This has got a nice exhaust system on it. Not the straight pipes that I'd like. And we'll go through that in a little while. But here we have a nice uplifted. There's some room under here with these beautiful alloys. We're going to have a look at them in a second. Under the hood, not bonnet. Inside, rear, and even underneath. These are beautiful motors. Something you have to take into consideration when driving a seven foot wide motor because with these tyres on it's seven foot wide in the little eedy beedy UK roads and they are people don't understand how wide you are so they come hammering towards you still and think I'm not going to make this and you do wince a little bit really good being on the left hand side sitting in the driving seat of these motors even though we're on the left hand side of the road over here in the UK and it does mean you can get close to the side it's not as bad as you think only turning right out of junctions really otherwise than that you get very quickly used to it insurance is not too bad shop around for that don't take the first quote Adrian Flux go to Graham Sykes and a couple other sites as well and you'll get the best price otherwise they seem to come out of a ridiculous price and they try and blag you saying that's all you're going to get it's not true Hunt around for it. It's well worth doing. I think I got this for £320. No, I lie. <laughs> Let me tell you. I've had a F-150 red one video on here. They quoted me £650 originally. I was like, no way. Went to Graham Sykes, 420 quid. I went back to them because I was supposedly guaranteeing most people say sod off. To me, they came back with £370. Why didn't you say that in the first bloody place? I did take out with them, so I'm very happy with that, if I'm honest with you. I didn't take the insurance out for the breakdown because it's not transferable, 59 quid. So I went to another site and found a nice breakdown. You've got to have it. You've got to have it. Now, I like doing little bits and bobs on my motors, as you know. So if you watch my channel, you know I don't mind doing brakes. We've just done a video on the Audi Q2. You can't do them. I've done the front brakes on these, and it was so easy. Honest to God, jack it up for me the hardest thing you've got to do because it's so high. Once you get the wheel off, these big wheels, I'm going to show you, it's easy. Caliber comes off, push them back, new ones in, cheap as chips, I think 30 odd quid for the brakes. Brilliant, well worth doing, and I was more happier with it. Now, <laughs> the seller, yeah, needs a little bit of work doing this. The underneath looked terrible, um, needs a service. There was crap everywhere, from honest with you. Um, and I enjoy doing it, but it was a bit more than I expected. I've waxed coat underneath twice now. I had to rub all the rust down. It was only surface. And then I red oxidized it. And then I've sprayed it all up, so that should last now. Other little bits and bobs. Something doing. I've um, sealed that for the time being. New one coming. He gave me 16 plugs. I thought, well, two services there. Anyone's had a Hemi, you know. It does take 16 plugs. OMG, I didn't know that. It's got this DMS engine business that... Under 1,600 revs, cut down to for better economy. You're not buying it for economy. Forget what the facts and figures say. Not true. Not true whatsoever. I do a three litre diesel engine one of these. Why would you buy that? Maybe for everyday use, think 200 a gallon. These say, I don't know, 18 and a run. And it's not true, okay? <laughs> if you want to know what I'm getting, remember, it's uplifted. Um, she's 11 years old now and big fat tires on her. The average says I'm getting is 11 to 13. 16 on a, on a run, wow. We'll just have to see, I've only had it a short while, filled it twice, it's great. You can only get 99 pounds from the uh, petrol stations and it goes in here and it can take some more. <laughs> 26 gallons, uh, one tank, not my little F-150, had two tanks. But it is a smaller mile, smaller mile. So to the rear ends. I have put this tow hitch on here. Not that you're gonna to get to tow anything because it's just too high. UK fog lights are put on here. And these spotlights are from reverse. I have no reverse at present minute. I plugged in a test and it said open circuit. I've got to find out what's happened. The seller did do the gearbox. He reconditioned it, torque converters and everything else supposedly on there. But I've got no reverse, so I've got to wire them up. It did have tinted rear lights. I found a nice guy on the um, UK forum for Rams. And he had these nice clear ones, well, red. I don't like tinted lights. I want people to be able to see 
that I'm breaking. Same as the motorbikes, you know, you, I want to be seen and heard. You get both on here. It's got train horns on it. They are mega loud. You just can't help going whack. <laughs> anyway, the arse end of these. In here was just disgusting. Now, for us here in the UK, these are a rarity, um, something to be loved. In America, they're dime a dozen. The guy who had this vehicle didn't care about it. There was paint everywhere in here. I should have looked much better when I, before I bought it. Um, I took it all out, washed, cleaned, petrolled. Nothing got it off, so I had to blow over in black spray. Does look a lot better. Have a look. It looks a lot better in there than it did, believe you me. It was just paint was everywhere. I mean, you can still see traces of it here. Um, what a horrible person. I've got a little bar here that I put down here. Got some carpeting the other day. Um, to stop the shopping bags going everywhere and it's always really handy having and this three piece cover is brilliant as well you just undo these two little catches here and it folds back quite nicely really handy having I'm glad it's got this cover on it not just painted painted are lovely but they chip where this is a plastic coat if it come that bad I could have just pulled it out and bought another one but in the UK it's a case of not just popping down to a local store and grabbing one it's paying lots of money I suppose anyway there's the rear of it you see the front of it? Let's look under the hood. I'm 5'8", by the way. Yeah. <laughs> under here is a huge, huge powerhouse. Again, 2010 American jobby. You can do everything under there. Not that bloody Audi Q2. You're getting a view I don't get because I'm having to hold the camera above my head. Someone got a little bit of blue spray. Now, I did buy a can of blue spray because there's little bits on the back bumper that are quite crap and rusty, and I'm going to have to rub all that down and do that. Anyway, there is your 5-litre V8 Hemi engine. It had an annoying squeal. Like, wait, 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 wait. You know, that annoying fan belt sort of squeal. I didn't know what it was going to be. Water pump, power steering pump because it's huge tyres, alternator, whether it's the belt itself or tensioner. So I took a punt. And I just bought a belt. The belt on here didn't look too bad when you looked at it. Um, people say spray a bit of WD, it made it even worse. So don't do that. Um, they call it a serpentine belt in America. Same as discs and pads are called rotors. So, as it's American, I'll stand. That's what we're going to call it, serpentine. Not the auxiliary belt that we normally call it, because it runs the auxiliaries. It doesn't run a snake or a serpentine, does it? You get my point? Anyway, go for a serpentine belt. 50 odd quid, I could have got it on the net for cheaper, but 20 odd pound, but you're just not sure you're getting the right one, and if it's too small, you're wasting your money. And a lot of dealers, and there's an eBay out there, do purposely mislead you, and you end up with the wrong stuff. So I bought the right one from the right place, cost more money, um, got it the same day, I picked it up, because we've got a local place in Braintree here, in the UK, not Braintree in America, because there is one in America. <laughs> here comes a car, one minute. No one comes down here. It's the only place in the whole world I could find. There's two vehicles so far. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> before you do your serpentine belt, auxiliary belt, um, draw the little map of it again. There's a couple of videos out there. This is a 2010 model, not a 2009, 2011. Um, they seem very different, to be honest with you. So I drew the little map of how it was. Um, I took the old belt off over the fan belt, put the new one on, serpentine belt. And it didn't go. And I did it again and again and again and again. And I'm thinking, what the hell? <laughs> Honestly, it was about 20 minutes. And I had to get steps here, steps over there, steps here. I was having to lean over. You know, great having a huge truck, but not great when you've got no bloody legs. <laughs> anyway, got it on, started the vehicle up. Beautiful. No annoying noises. I was actually very happy. So, yeah, very great. Great news for that. And another little thing here in the UK, in British cars. Okay, I say British, most are German. Never mind. Or even Chinese, Japanese, everything else, Korean. Anyway. We colour this one yellow, okay? So we know that is for the washer bottle. But in America, they're also colouring <laughs> their reservoir tank you know the um, overflow tank they color that in yellow as well couldn't think i want to call it then so i nearly poured in my washer fluid in here change the color anyway <laughs> i nearly did it battery obviously the other bits are where they're supposed to be so i nearly mucked up there 
Let's get this bonnet down. And again. <laughs> Job done. Wheels, as I promised you. Oh yes. These are just sex on a stick. I've been told they are expensive. I've been told there's none of us in the UK. So if anyone else has got a pair in the UK, show me. And they do look bloody nice. They really do look nice. There's a company that make these, as I said, and they're not all one-offs, but you do have an America, obviously, but not here. And nice, huge, 35-inch wheels on here. Well, tyres, these are 18s, I believe. What are these? These are 35 by 12.5 by 18s. I have no idea how much they're going to cost me when they get low, but... They look gorgeous. Now, can you see under here now? That looks really, really nice. And the back in here looks all really, really nice. Believe you me, it did not. It looked terrible. It looked like a 40-year-old or a Navara, an O2 plate Navara. Rusted to hell. Why would you let your truck do that? I don't know. And I was really quite unimpressed, to be honest with you. The seller said to me, oh, I left you something to do, Mark, you know, and I'm thinking, it looks shit. And that's many hours of hard work for a wire brush to get rid of all that. Uh, I paid him what he asked for it. It's a beautiful truck. It just niggles you little things. And I'll show you inside in a minute how crap that was in there with the switches, which, you know, I don't even imagine. Have a look underneath. It now looks absolutely beautiful. Drive shaft, clean, painted, all black under here now. It was so rusty. There's the gearbox. Uh, that, that, that's some shit. I'm still waiting for that. Transfer and everything else. You might see this little bit of pipe here. And this is what I'm trying to say about the exhaust. Can you see the exhaust welded, welded again? The box back there. It's like pigeon poo weld. I don't, I don't get why some would do that, but it does look lovely under here. Now, anyway. And the same as the rear, I sprayed it all, waxed it all, cleaned it all, it looks very, very nice. The calipers, the rear ones, I've left because I'm going to take them off and change the rear calipers, uh, the brake pads, should I say. He did give me front and rear brake pads, it was very nice of him, but they really did doing as well. And the tow hitch I've put on, as I said. You can see, look, the rust. I've cleaned it up to a, a, a oh, that's just shit in it, you know? Got to be done. Got to be cleaned up, beautiful tyres. And it's nice with these rims on it. Now, some of you in America know a Rumble B. Now, before the complaints come in, or people tell me it's not real, it's a fake, Rumble B came out in 2004 in America. Um, SLT model, whatever they were going to be. They made 600, they lied, they made about 1500, 1400, whatever it was. Everybody moaned about it because they thought they were getting original ones. They brought out the second swarm in 2005, they were black and yellow. I know all that, not blue, <laughs> and they bought another load as well, and they picked with a plaque for the numbers on them, all got pissed off, and General Motors or whatever they were, Dodge said, we can do what we like, thanks, took them to court. So I know it's a fake Rumblebee, didn't do blue, but that makes it a one-off to me, and I quite like that. No others like this in the UK, and no others really anywhere, I've not seen a blue Rumblebee. Lovely blue, I must admit, could do them a clean. Um, very dry over here at present minute. It's uh, April, uh, not 2000 and March anyway, 2021. So whoever watching this in a couple of years time, you know when it was. Uh, but I very much like her. Inside, can you see these one, two, three, four switches? There was another one dangling down here. It looked a bit pants to be honest with you. This was fog lights. That was, I don't know. Well, that one does actually. This was front lights. This one was a compressor for the horns. The one down, down here had speakers in the back for an amp. Um, very tacky. I don't understand why anybody would do that. Um, someone obviously fitted different speakers in here with tweeters as well. And while I've got the camera here, they had a big base box under here that went right the way through. A double base, base box. A base box. <laughs> I've cut it and only put one there because I want to get a dog in here because one of the reasons why I bought this one. That can now come up. I can put a sheet in there and the dog can go in there. Blue lights. Don't know why. Should have been white. Nice and comfortable from the rear. Amp down there, not wired in properly at all. I don't know why it's got there because it's plugged into the back speakers and then there was a daisy chain from one to the other, not left and right. Horrible stain here, which took me ages to try and get out to that stage there and it's still bloody there. Scratches, annoying. Just treat them with love. So here's your dash. 
161 km's. I think this is from uh, Canada one. It's not American, so it's just under 100,000 miles. Very basic information. Now, them tyres I showed you, lovely, but the person didn't put the time on it was back on. So this beeps at you when you're pulling away, when you're braking. There's a little light flashing here all the time. Really, really annoying. Um, I changed the brake pads as I thought it was, but it wasn't. The dash took the original stereo out and put a new stereo in there. Very nice. And this is where I cleaned these up. Now, I'm not impressed with the little... I just put them on there. I look at them now. I know what they are. So I put the fog lights, which are running daylights. You can see I put the bar on there. And that had some crappy little fog lights that weren't worth a uh, wank, as I say. So I put running lights and a bar on there. There's the amp from behind and the compressor. That cleared all this up. Now, I'm not going to take them out because they're just going to leave bloody holes everywhere. Auto simple box, and you couldn't get no simpler than that, can you? Park, reverse, neutral, and drive. There's no flappy paddles or anything. It has got cruise control. Um, that was already wired in there. So to change this, though, you had to take all this up, all that out, screws, get the whole front out, wind that one out. And the UK, obviously, have different stereos in America, and you have to get another... I forget what they call it now, but it's another it's another five pound little connection so you can have your radio on. And also with your radio, while I'm thinking about it, America only do every other one. Well, we've got like 98.8. They don't have that. They have 98.7, 98.9. So when you try and get, you know, radio one, if you listen to that sort of stuff, you're not going to get it. Or you have to go to 97.7 and it messes around. Little plug here. And then you've got obviously your... Uh, this came with it as well, this little diagnostics thing. Um, it's all right. And obviously, crap under there. You do get some pockets. Top one. And then the main one for more rubbish. Get my insurance papers in there, just in case. This is the fun button. Not going to press it. I will do later. <laughs> this is my train horns, which sounds absolutely amazing. Let's go and quickly show you where they are. You can just see them there. And behind it is the massive compressor. Well, I do mean massive because it is so loud and I really enjoy pressing it. Probably much more than the 100 and whatever decibels you're supposed to. So be careful when pressing. My running lights and my bar that I put on. You can't see the illustration plate properly, so I've got a British UK spec one coming because uh, I'll get told off because you can see the top and you can see the bottom, but I don't want to get unnecessarily pulled over for a copper then to moan about something else that I might have. Needs cleaning, doesn't it? Come on, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. It really does look a gorgeous motor. Oh, yes. It towers above the Rangers and the Navaras and even the Amrocks. Makes them look like a toy car. <laughs> Good lights on here as well. I'm not going to change them. I don't like the ring ones and possibly the LEDs. That's what I looked about the back ones. £170 for America, but I prefer just the originals. So, key and ignition. Pop a hemi noise there. Radio down. And there's your tyre press system. And that little light stays on all the bloody time. But you can back up. You can press it down. And there's your... 11.4. Mm. I strongly suggest you get a dash cam. I really would. Now, the seating position here is quite good. And as you can see from that silly bus park deck, that's where I wanted to be, you actually get a good view. But you have to worry how wide you are because you do feel really quite tall. That sounds nice. Yeah, it's probably cost me three quid. <laughs> right, just really, really quickly. Yeah, that's that's really uh, honestly, it's loud. Not gonna do that again. There we go. What do you think of this beautiful truck? Very basics here. I know some models come with a sat nav and etc here um it'd be nice i did think about buying one but for the price of them and you can get some ones that come out of the screen again it just wasn't worth it i listen to normally radio where is my radio station bbc4 yeah i don't know why i listen to that and again i wouldn't like to be in america at the present minute with all the stuff you guys have got that's not fun at all um 
I mean, I don't like this country sometimes, but uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't like that. Anyway, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, all the basics, and they all work. If you're gonna buy one, let's save some fuel. If you're gonna buy one, um, I strongly suggest. Hmm, forgot what I was gonna say. So if you're gonna buy one of these trucks, you've gotta have a few things in your mind. A, don't care about what you're putting in the tank, just enjoy it. Secondly, test everything, look over everything. Check the four wheel drive out, check the gearbox out as well. This one wasn't changing up properly. Now, if you notice they've got a little V pipe, I want to put either two three inch pipes along or straight in from the three inch into two inches going out the back. There's a little V there, you know, it's got a little couple of bolts in it. I did that because it was shut off before. And she was hanging in fourth gear all the time. You know, you could hear a high revs, it's odd. When I pulled that back a little bit and just allowed some gases out, she now changes beautifully. And the seller said to me that it wasn't changing up, he wasn't happy with it, he had it back and forth to the garage, and they're basically giving it the same way back to him. And it's due to the exhaust system on here. That's what was messing around. So that's next thing I'm gonna do is pay out a little bit. And annoyingly, you know, again, this is the foot brake. The foot brake's here. Well, that does bugger all. Does nothing. Spotlights will cut one wire mains fuse dangling down. Under the dash, wire's just a mess. You know, if you haven't, or if I hadn't have been the sort of person that's playing with things, I think I'd have been a bit pissed off if I'm really honest with you with the annoying things. I've enjoyed doing it because I always tinker, um, had the headlight out, you know, and that's quite difficult. You've got a little port underneath, you've got to pull down a catch to get it out. So there's videos out there on how to do that. Um, done the front discs, um, brakes, should I say, rollers. I'm going to do the back pads. They were all right, not as bad as the front were. The front were on the limits. They needed doing. So all in, what do you think? Other people on the road, you get 50-50 looks. 50-40-10. 50 50% 50 of people go, wow, what a beautiful truck. 40% of people either don't care or think, you know, meh. And 10% are that girl from the other country. You're killing our planet, stop it! I'm paying for it. I'm 50 years old this year. Done my bit, thank you. Without the people here before you, you wouldn't bloody be here. So zipit.com, eh? I drive it because I love driving it. It's not my daily drive, but I have taken it to work a few times. <laughs> and I do enjoy doing, just having something you've worked hard for. No one gave me this. You go and buy one the same thing. Now, there's a couple of dealers out there now doing these. And uh, this is the baby, this is the 150, or sorry, not the 150. This is the 1500. Should cut that out, but I'm not gonna, because you can make mistakes, it's okay. This is the 1500, they do a 2500 and a 3500. That's massive. That's the one that was um, on um, Lethal Weapon, you know, with the big double wheels. There's a couple of them in Britain. They're even bigger and wider and longer. You've got a long horn as well, which is even longer. They're massive, you know, and the guys who drive them, well done. First time driving a big truck. So I drive vans, but it does seem big. I can't imagine what they'd be like with little roads like we've got here. That's a road here. This is a road. Okay? <laughs> Please don't tell me. You can fit them anywhere. These are roads. Where I live. You know, I don't go down this road much. Next road up there, but that's the size of one lane. And the little lane, I'm over both sides. Seven foot wide stance with these mirrors, probably eight foot. Quite some distance. Some of them big girls though, you know, the 3,500 with dual wheels at the back. Oh, just gorgeous. And prices, oh, they're difficult. What do you put a price on something that you love? I saw this, you used the horns outside my house like, I love you. You know, you mean you got the old rose colored glasses on. I didn't look at all the bad bits. And to be honest with you, I'm still very happy with the bad bits even though they're there. I just realized there's something in there. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Watch my videos. Got my old F150 on here. Lots of videos as well. Take care of yourselves on the road. Ta da. 
So what are they like to drive? And I didn't realise that's a camper van. I thought it was a minibus. Someone just got it and had a dump or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll just say goodbye. These are just beautiful. Say goodbye. <laughs> you know, look. Any upcoming traffic? I don't think so. And here we go. Tire pressure, flashing light. Bloody annoying. Press back up. Press down. Go on fuel economy just because you can. But every time you break hard. You know, I don't want anybody coming up towards me here. It would be pretty bad, wouldn't it? Let's just go out in this wider bit rather than that single track bit. Don't worry about big bumps. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And away we go. It does sound lovely. You can see what happened when a big truck came down here the other day. Mm. Took out the wall. And there we go. Beautiful. Now, this person, I'm going to slow down here because look, this is what happens a lot. People just panic, keep going. I'll oh, squeeze through. He's let me go. That's very nice of him. Thank you very much. Bit wide. This is the problem. The only problem you're going to get is coming out. Now, on the bigger roads, yeah, very nice. Sounds beautiful, change is beautiful. I mean, uphill, immediately. I kept the American plates in there from California, which is odd, really, because I don't think it was originally from California. I think there's car facts you can find out where they were. You've got the VIN plate. But say, very, very nice. There you go. That's all I'm going to do now. As I said, take care of yourselves on the road. Watch my videos. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye.